Fighting games are competitive games by nature. It's always you versus your opponent, and there is nothing that matches the depth and enjoyment of battling it out against someone who wants to win just as much as you do. And the human element is what makes coming up with a winning strategy that much more fun. So today we're gonna talk about the different player archetype. Here I'm talking the tendencies of the players, how they think and how they behave, and how understanding this can give you a huge edge in battle. This is obviously meant to be educational, but also it's entertainment, so don't get offended if you think you fall in any of the upcoming categories. So let's start first with the first one, which is the skip neutral junkie. The skip neutral junkie is a desperate player. This is someone who is trying by all means to get in, regardless of the risk. Risk reward is not in their dictionary. They are gonna dash, they're gonna jump, they're gonna go for YOLO specials, and once they get in, they will try to run their flowchart offense on you. And these players can be a little bit annoying to fight, unfortunately mostly common in lower levels of play, but also in the higher level of play, they can catch you off guard. These are the ones that you must say, well, play the safe against them, let them hang themselves. The second type of players is, well, it's the complete opposite. It is the turtles. The turtles, by definitions, are players who like to turtles. They will hold down back and they are trying to make you approach them and then they will try to punish you for approaching. And this can be very difficult to play against if the player got good reactions and especially on characters like Guile, Bison, Balrog, etc. who can really be rewarded with this gameplay style. The key to beating these type of players is to defy their expectations. Like if they are waiting for you to dash, well try to micro walk forward into a big button. Or maybe like jump at unexpected times, etc. They can be difficult and you kinda need a character that is good at opening people to really be effective against them and be able to deal with what they're offering, but it is a skill that you will need to be able to learn how to overwhelm your opponent. The third type is what I would like to call the mix-up addict. And the mix-up addict is a player that is typically have very weak neutral and in general they are not very good, but don't worry because once they get to run their mix-up, once they get to run their V-trigger, they totally know what they're doing and they're gonna steal your win in 50 different ways. We have all been across a Urien or a Laura player and you will wonder like, how is this guy Diamond, how is this guy Platinum, etc and then they activate their V-Trigger and all hell breaks loose. These guys are scary, especially in a game like Street Fighter V that is very volatile. The key to beating these type of players is to deny them their activation chance. Whether through the use of moves like AX Zong, AX Heart Rate, forcing them to be reversal and abandon their game plan, or simply outspacing them so they don't get to activate. Number 4, well it's the gimmick man, and this one is pretty much self-explanatory, these are players who will pick some of the more obscure characters and do the most unexpected strategies, they are not really playing to win, they are playing to tilt you, they are playing to annoy you, and this is very common especially on characters like Fung or Blanca, you don't come across them often and they are doing the wild stuff, probably picking the weird V-Skill V-Trigger combination, that is not very good, but they just want to cash in on the unfamiliarity. Well, unfortunately you're gonna lose to these guys a couple of times here and there until you get kinda accustomed to how they play. This one's uh, it's more of just a knowledge check, but with the knowledge in your hands, you will probably have an easy time against these guys. Next is what I would like to call the textbook player, and these are guys who will play 100% by the book, frame data to them is some holy text that they can't really deviate from, and they will probably call other players out for not playing the right way. These guys in theory are not mistaken, obviously there is a structure to how you play a fighting game most optimally, but if you are always predictable, if you're constantly doing the right thing, well, that makes you very easy to read. 
you will notice that even the best players in the world will have a little bit of randomness here and there because obviously predictability is very detrimental when you're fighting against another human being who understands well the textbook as well as you do right and that is how you beat these guys uh, you know what they know you know what they will do well go for the counter even if it doesn't make sense in this instance it will actually work And finally we got the runaway monster and these are guys who will constantly be running away. It doesn't matter if they are on a life lead, it doesn't matter if they're winning or they're losing, they will run away and then when you try to approach them, damn, go in for the AX dash bunch, go in for the sonic psych, the Nash, the jury players, etc. These type of players can be tilting if you play against them because they are kinda banking on you, not reacting to their movement again very common in street fighter 5 especially with how strong dashes are and how strong ex tackle moves tend to be and the thing about these guys is that they are typically very anxious on wake up this is what i've noticed is that they will typically not sit still and block maybe they will try to wake up buttons try to wake up back dash v shift etc so this is something that you keep in mind this is a test of your patience because you just need to walk forward block and try to guess on their pattern because typically they will have a better, if they're really good, they are not predictable, but typically they will and make the most of your offense. You kind of need to be a little bit more aggressive on knockdowns against these guys because they are typically, like I said, wake up anxious. There is one more bonus additional archetype and this one is more specific to Street Fighter V and it is what I like to call the Minus 2 Pervert. And the Minus 2 Pervert is a player that centralizes their entire game plan around the minus two mix-ups, right? They will go for something that is minus two, like a Rashid Light Punch Spinning Mixer or a Guile Forward Heavy Kick and run their entire game plan from there. Maybe they will throw you, maybe they try to walk back, maybe they will check you low, maybe they will go for the X reversal. Some players absolutely center their entire game plan around this. And yeah, this is common to Street Fighter V, especially obviously in other fighting games as well, but it is kind of common in this game. And these guys are just very tiring to play against, so against them I honestly just play it safe for the most part, right? And that is pretty much it for today's video. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment, it does really help the channel so much. Let me know if there are any archetypes that you think I missed, maybe we can have some really fun discussions about that in the comment section. I will be leaving a link to the Patreon, Discord, Twitter and Twitch pages in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe. Just quickly I wanted to give shout outs to Drunkido specifically for this video because this was a great suggestion and a lot of the idea for the different archetypes was really his. So. I gotta say I'm very grateful and if you want to support me, if you want your idea to be voiced like this, uh, check out my Discord, you'll find the link in the description. Once more, thank you so much to Drunkido and everyone on the Discord for your support and stay safe everyone.